Chi, the emotional, financial, and physical well-being, and your life coach here, here to help you resolve your childhood wounds from your parents. So today's today's video is all about dun -dun -dun, abandonment issues from childhood, either from your mom or your dad or both. Now, what's my experience with this? Do I have abandonment issues with my parents? No. However, I have a good friend of mine, best friend of mine from childhood, who has current issues with abandonment from his dad. Um, or the last time I remember, quick story, I remember the last time I remember seeing his dad was years ago. God, I think we were like oh, 12 and 10 years old. He's two, he's two years older than me. And um, he was at a martial arts studio down the road from where I live. And his dad, I guess, worked there. And, um, you know, I, remember, I always remember going going to his house growing up and seeing pictures of, pictures of, of him and his dad and photos. His dad took martial arts and he did too. So at the talking party, I remember his dad being there and we, um, we pretended we, we were, it was, um, we were, um, what were we, I can't think, we were ninjas. That's what, we were ninjas, okay? And, you know, we'd go outside, pretend we're fighting bad guys or whatever and come back. And that was the last time I ever saw his dad. I'm 32 years old now. I don't look it, but I am. And I last saw his dad when I was 10 or 11. That's a long ass fucking time to not see someone else's parent, <laughs> someone else's dad, not mine, but someone else's. So I can imagine it was like him. So I know that that is an issue that has grown inside him. I don't know if he feels, I, I, I would guess he feels sad anger really frustration of like why the fuck would you leave me because to this day he hasn't heard from him he doesn't know if he's alive doesn't even know what he's doing and he, he may wonder like did he go start start a whole new family like what the fuck happened to this dude like why did he just drop off the face of the earth you know and um you know i'm talking about that because having abandonment issues it, it fucks with you for the rest of your life issues your parents fucks with you for the rest of your life and then no offense to him because um his parent, he's people's dated. It's come up in those in people's dated. It, it's had an adverse impact, okay, an adverse impact. And what I believe is that whatever you don't get subconsciously from your parents, if you get like the wrong shit or miss something, you look for that in other people without going within to yourself. And you're know, getting the wrong thing that doesn't benefit you. That just recreates this bullshit pattern that we get trapped into. You know, we don't realize. So that's been him. Now, for those of you who have been in issues, please comment below. Let me know what your situation is. If you feel sad, if you're pissed off at your parent that left you, or at a point you're like, fuck them, I really don't care anymore. It's they missed out. It sucks to be them. Um, because it's different for everyone. I, I can only speak on, there's only, only so much I can speak about. You know, I'm not going to say, sit here and say, oh, here's the solution. One size fits all. But if you want to overcome these issues, you could go to a therapist or a psychologist and it's fine and talk it out. And it's good to start the process, but therapy, psychology, does it work for people? Yes. Is it for everyone? Is it effective where it gets to the root cause of things? No. Why? Because what I do is help bring out the emotional stuff that's still there. So sitting there, the energy, help you process it and get through it so you feel it. That way it dissipates this way. That issue, the energy that's trapped in there is gone and is expressed and doesn't sit there and affect your world because your emotions... Or your or magnets, you vibrate that stuff. That's what that's what helps create your reality. It's your how really how you're feeling and you're thinking. Change your vibration, change situation. It's true. You've done it. Then you start feeling better about yourself. Things start to get better magically. Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is you want to start the process. This is starting the process. If you keep doing this, you can take some time. I can work with you and coach you on this. Start the process by one, forgiving yourself, loving yourself. Accepting yourself and realizing that you're not a bad child. You never were. You didn't do anything wrong. You didn't cause this shit. You are a perfect, infinite being. Go beyond time and space. You were loved by me, God, Jesus, Buddha, everyone and their mother. Literally everyone and their mother. You were loved. Nothing wrong with you. So that's one. Number two. By the way, do these in whichever order you want. I'm not saying get one first. But number two is very important. The hardest for most people is to forgive the person. You're like, oh my God, how can I forgive them? If there are people in this world who can forget who who can who can forget people who have tried to murder them, people who have raped them, people who have killed our families, done horrible things, then guess what? Sorry, I'm not being your your best friend and who's going who's going who's going to blow smoke up your ass right now. You can forgive them too. It's not easy. We didn't want to because people like to feel angry. Angry feeling angry makes us feel powerful. Feeling sad doesn't. 
So you need to start the process of forgiving them. And when you can get to that point, you've let the pain go, you've let them go, and your life will fucking change for the better. I shit you not. Things get better in all areas of your life. I can't explain exactly how the magic works, but everything comes on energy. And any energy you're holding on to, pain, sadness, anger, frustration, when you let that go, things in your life change because life responds to you, okay? You aren't something in life, life responds to you. That's what you want to do. Start the process. Now, how do you how do you start, you know, accepting accepting loving yourself? You can affirm, you say, I love myself, I accept myself, for, write things down, say, I forgive myself for this. Start telling yourself, I'm a good child, I'm a good son, I'm a good daughter. That's one thing you can do. And realize that, remove the judgment and be like, what I did, what I did is what I did, and that's okay. I'm okay because of this. I'm still loved. Number two, the forgiveness part. Forgive them. If there's anger, here's what you need to do. Any anger, sadness, or emotion that comes up where, you, where you're like, fuck this, I can't like forgive them, start taking deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, seriously, put a smile on your face, and ask yourself, where do I feel the, the emotion? Like, where's the sensation? Is it in your chest, in your stomach, wherever it is? Breathe and feel that out. Get present with the emotion. Feel it completely. If it's anger, feel that anger. If it's sadness, feel sadness. Whatever it is, feel that shit out to completion. And then at some point, as you're breathing deeply, you'll feel release. You'll feel a let go. It'll go away. If anything else, it'll move to it'll it'll move to another part of your body. Keep doing that. That shit will go away, and you will be fine. You'll start the process. And I'm telling you, as you dissolve the energy, shit in your life starts to change like that. Change happens instantly. It's not something that happens over time. So actually, especially if you're doing stuff energetically, you, you heal that emotion, man. Your life will be better. So again, to repeat in this video here, start loving, accepting yourself, forgiving yourself. It's not your fault that he left you. Two, forgive them. And bonus number three, realize they left you because of their own issues. They're not a human being. They have to deal with their stuff. So I love you guys. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts are. Like, share this video. Please subscribe. And, and um, look below to see how you can get a free session from me. Five video series. Watch that. Love you. Getting black. Peace.